Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's couch comparison, I am comparing three different eye primers. So a while back I was talking about my e.l.f. primers, my favorite primers, my go-to primer, the one that I only use, and then I thought, how do I know if it's a really good primer if I've never tried any other kinds of primers? So I decided to purchase one primer and then I received one primer as a tester. Here's my e.l.f. primer that I always use. This is the Maybelline primer, it's a new one. This is the Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. And then I received this Urban Decay primer. This is the eyeshadow primer potion, the original potion. So I'm going to go ahead and get the worst one out of the way. It's the Maybelline primer. So you put it on your eye, all over your eye, and it's kind of a nude kind of look, but it's shimmery. So I put that all over my eye and then I put the shadows on. I noticed the shadows were a little bit more difficult to blend and not only that, but it made the shadows look chunky. Like it was trying to make the shadows look brighter, but it just made it look chunkier. This primer says that it's a smoothing. It did make my shadows last a long time, but it wasn't the smoothness that I really wanted it to be. So I did not like this primer at all. None of the primers caused my shadows to crease. So that's really nice to know, like no matter what you're choosing out of these three, it's not gonna cause your shadows to crease. I guess the final comparison is gonna be between the e.l.f. and the Urban Decay. The e.l.f. primer made the shadows look very vibrant. Once again, it's an increase. The thing that I thought was very interesting about this primer is that the shadows did fade a little bit by the end of the day. I don't know that that's very noticeable if you're gonna use that on your eyes. It wasn't fading to where I couldn't see any color. It was just that it faded a little bit so it wasn't extremely, extremely vibrant as it was at the beginning of the day. Once again, it wasn't that noticeable. The best primer that I noticed a difference was the Urban Decay primer. This completely, like I used a little, little dot and it completely hit all my veins on my eyes and it just smoothed everything over. I put the shadows on and they are extremely vibrant. The Urban Decay full size of this product at Ulta is $20. So I'm sure since you only have to use a dot on your entire lid that the full size is gonna last you quite a while. I mean, this is I think a travel size, uh, 0.06 fluid ounces. And I know this is gonna last me quite a while. If you feel like you can splurge $20, I think this is a very good investment. But hmm, still, my e.l.f. eyeshadow base is beautiful. I mean, this is $3. You really can't beat that price. And it is 0.11 fluid ounces. Now, I do have to use more. This is a uh, doe foot wand. I have to usually put product all over my lid and then blend it in and that covers up my veins pretty well. It doesn't completely hide them. This does completely hide my veins and since it doesn't have an applicator, you just push the product onto your finger and then apply it onto your eye. So if you're worried about transferring bacteria or whatnot using a wand like this, then this would probably work really well for you. This is the Maybelline Eye and this is the Elf Eye. It is currently 228. You guys just checking in with my eyes. It is 6:30 and this is what my eye shadow looks like. It is 1:29 in the morning and I'm doing a check-in. Guys, it is 2.45 and today I have the e.l.f. primer on this eye and the Urban Decay Cosmetics primer on this eye. It's pretty much the same look as last time but just a little bit more brighter so I'll check back in a few more hours. It is 5 o'clock right now and this is what looks like the e.l.f. has faded and the Urban Decay is stronger but there's a little bit of fading right on the edge. I did clean today so that might have something to do with it. So I can't tell much of a difference. This eye over here is slightly brighter than my left eye and that's it. So it seems like they hold up as well. It is 10-15 right now and there's no creasing on either one. It's just that the 
colors are more vibrant on the Urban Decay side. It is 2.30 right now and on this side is the Urban Decay and on this side is the Maybelline. I don't know if you can tell but the Maybelline looks a little bit more messy. Let's see if I can zoom in more. This side looks way more messy than this side. So it seems like the Urban Decay is performing better so far and I'll keep updating you out throughout the day. I don't know if you can tell this on camera but this looks a lot better than the Maybelline. The Maybelline looks very weird. It exaggerates all of my lines. I don't like it at all. It's currently 5.15. This is my next check-in. It's 9.51. So this is the Maybelline and this is faded a little bit. The color isn't that strong. The color is really strong on this side with the Maybelline, but I don't like how unblended it looks. So I think I like out this to the Urban Decay. So that is my comparison. The overall winner, if you can't afford it, this is just as fine. So you take that information and I hope that you use it in your purchases for eye primer and I hope that you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed comparing each of these primers and using them side by side and seeing how long they wore. I did wear these usually a total of 8 to 10 hours so the fact that the three of these didn't crease throughout that time is really great. And I hope you all have an awesome week and a wonderful day. Bye!